what I can't stand the most is when I'm playing in an event and I have to teach somebody how to use their deck while I'm trying to beat them. Oh, this does this. Like, no, your card doesn't. Yes, it does. Read your card, guy. Like, no, you should know this stuff. Don't come to my locals. Don't turn around and talk garbage about my deck. And then I have to teach you how to play your deck on the fly. That is, that is nonsense. Like, be humble, guy. <laughs> See, I teach them by beating them silly. And anybody that knows me that knows, I love the anti-meta. Like, if you're a meta player, and you lose to an anti-meta player, I don't think that it's fair that you turn around and say, well... I only really lost because you play that one floodgate. I only lost because you play that other floodgate. The oh, anti-meta has been dead. part of Yu-Gi-Oh! since the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! As long as it, it actually even longer than there's been a meta game because that was created what after Cookie Cutter or something where there really was a meta game. Yu-Gi-Oh! is in a state where there's never been more answers to floodgate cards. You've never had the access Galaxy to stop anti-meta better than you do now. Like Galaxy Cycle, Cosmic Cycle, MSDs, Twin Twisters, Hit the Storm Duster, Red Reboot, Red Reboots, Wire Taps. I have seven tools. Seven tools, <laughs> yep. Like, seven tools. You got Denko Seka. Denko Reka. Like, you have so many ways Nightmare to stop Phoenix. the anti-meta. And the moment you pop the floodgate card, you win the game. Like, I can't do that. As an anti-meta player, I can't. I have to make the proper card choices and play them in a particular manner in order to ground you from doing what you want to do is just beat my face in one turn and then I have to meticulously pick you apart in order to get the damage and I need to win the game like it is way more skillful in my opinion to play the anti-meta there's so much more nuances involved than just making a meta deck where you can just play hand trap stop your opponent then special five million times to beat their face in and you, you cry because I, I, I watch the meta, I analyze the meta, make the proper choices in card deck, like the card floodgates, to be able to neutralize what you do. Stop being a crybaby. Like, you can have spell and trap destruction cards, you have negator cards that you can side and you, you cry because you don't, you don't want to use the room in your side deck to have to play against the anti-meta when it's an accepted part of the game. Like, it's an important part of the game. Sheep, I tell you, sheep, they're all sheep. They can't think for themselves. They gotta be herded. Like, everybody says anti-meta isn't healthy for the game. No, extreme offensive meta is not healthy for the game. It's not how the game was designed. The, the game was designed to have offense, defense, special teams. Where's your defense at? You get upset because you can't go offensive and then you don't have enough defense in your deck. You know, so you can't stop a counterattack when you don't get to make your board and you don't have special teams so you can't you know you don't have enough stuff to blow up my card to stop me from doing what it is of restricting you you should have a balance of all of them and you don't it's your problem i'm sorry i'm done ranting right now. you don't got a guy to kick the field goal all you got is a guy that can run it back from the punt mm. Mm. not good you know and that goes to a bunch of you know you guys that put decks together where you get all butthurt and stressed out because you want to play it the way everyone prescribes to play it, but it's not really your play style. You just do it because you think you're going to get the wins, and then we watch you all the time get stressed out when you don't win. You're not playing to your play style, so you're not playing to your strength. That's why you're not winning sometimes. You can have the right cards, but it's not how you're supposed to play. It's not how you feel comfortable playing. So you're going to spend all event playing against what your natural disposition is, how you play. It's like trying to ride a bicycle backwards. Play what you feel comfortable playing. Enjoy the game. You're not enjoying the game stressing yourself out. We see you at the regionals. We see you at the YCSs. When you're crying after like round five, round six, and you're like, I put all this time and I, I play tested the deck and, and, and I, got, I went X3 drop, man, because this guy did this and this guy did that. In the deck you, you, you should be playing maybe not maybe you should analyze the deck and analyze your play style and find a deck that matches your play style that you're going to enjoy <laughs>